Hello there everyone, my name is Daniel uh, and this is uh, yet another video from Nordic Anglers. Today we've brought nine different nine weights, uh, no not nine weights, nine feet class five uh, out here on the lawn and uh, today we're gonna try to uh, to test all uh, test out all of these rods. We're gonna try to, to, to discuss and talk about what each different rod is, is, uh, is intended to be used for. We're gonna try all of these rods out with the same line. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a scientific Anglers Valensis with a with a belly of approximately nine meters so now we're gonna cast each and every single one of these rods and and, uh, and discuss exactly what are the purpose and what are this rod particularly well suited for so um, here goes So the first one is the TFO um, Blue Ribbon. This is a new TFO rod that uh, has just been launched uh, this uh, this year, and uh, and it's it's intended as a multiple pur purpose uh, nine feet feet five weight. This means that this is uh, an, an overall general trout rod. So it's it's really good for for bigger dry flies, for for nymphs and and uh, and smaller streamers. And uh, and it's it's one of the uh, the TFO rods that are that are priced the lowest. Um, and I must say, now I've been casting this here on the lawn for for some time now. It just it just it feels very harmonic. The fittings on this is of course not as as expensive as on, on some of the high end rods, but they are they're decent and and and, and they're they're sound quality. Um, and it's it's a medium fast rod, so um, so it performs well, especially on 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 middle middle range distances. And it also it can cast it can cast far, but but not as far as, as some of the faster rods. But you saw how effortless that was. Basically, just uh, just picked up the line and, and it just it just flew. So so this is a nice rod for you know all the different types of fishing that you will encounter whilst fishing for trout. Nice and balanced, easy to use, just performs very, 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 very well. So the TFO Blue Ribbon, uh, a good bet for, for an entry level, uh, multiple purpose trout rod for streamers, for nymphs, will throw a dry fly as well. It just, it feels, it feels nice. The next one is uh, is the TFO LK Legacy, and this is a rod that um, that I've been uh, when when they announced it, I was really really excited because I loved the uh, the BVK uh, so much, and this is kind of the, uh, the 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 rod to replace that, and I was not disappointed. This is uh, compared to the uh, compared to to the Blue Ribbon. This is a faster rod. It's also been upgraded. It has a uh, it has a nicer reel seat, some some other guides. And uh, and it's, it's, it's just basically um, I would say a more uh, a, a rod more suited for, for a bit larger flies. Uh, in Denmark we sell a lot of these for uh, for, for the for the light sea trout fishing on the coastline. It's a faster rod, so so it it it, it simply it is it will cast further, easier. Maybe it's not exactly as accurate as as you could say the uh, the blue ribbon is but but i've been using this for uh, for for many different types of fishing i've, I've tested this out and it, it just it just overall this is one of the rods that i really really know well i fish with both the five weight and the six weight and the four weight and it's just it's just a really really outstanding rod and in my opinion one of the best rods out there in its price range for sure i i mean um it has some some really really nice fittings. It's it's fast. It's it's strong. It can it can cast fairly large flies uh, compared to the to the to the weight, and it's just um, 
it's just a rod that every single time that I that I use this rod it just it just brings a smile to my face because it's it's a joy and in the price range I've not tried anything anything ever that that is as good as this is you see you saw that that was almost the entire line just and it's gone <laughs> I like the LK legacy So the next, uh, the next rod here is, is the Nam Delgado in 9.1 because they don't make a, a pure 9 feet. Uh, so, so we've taken the 9.1, the 9 feet 1 inch. And um, I've been fishing with the, with the 6 weight uh, and, and some of the two handed rods. I haven't tried this 5 weight before. But um, what I must say is this is a really, really nice and really, really complete rod. It has a very, very, very uh, light and slim uh, blank. It has some nice uh, minimalistic fittings here. Um, it has a nice uh, big uh, uh, handle here that really lets you, lets you grab onto the rod tightly so you can get some di distance here. It's a fast rod that I would recommend for some bigger streamer fishing, uh, lighter coastal fishing, uh, smaller streams for salmon and sea trouts, uh, even if you're, if you're fishing hitch or, or bombers on really, really low conditions, uh, uh, Norway or, or wherever streams for, for salmon, then this could be a good bet. This is a nice and, and really just, it, it just feels, it just feels like it's, it's a well thought through uh, rod. Um, also, uh, what I find is that this rod here, it casts very effortless. So without, without using any power at all, you get the line and the fly where it's intended. So, so I must say, of course, it's a more expensive rod than the TFO. Um, uh, but but I, I also must say that this, this feels like it has a bit more power, it has a bit more potential. And, uh, and this is a rod I could easily see myself owning and, uh, and fishing. So overall, the num rod here for, for bigger streamers and, uh, and, and the like, is, is definitely, definitely a good bet. I'm impressed with the Nam rods in general. That's also why we chose to have them in the shop, to stock them. Because they are great, great rods, great value for money. And this just performs really, really well. So the Nam 9 feet 5 weight, it's a very, very good bet. The next one is the NRX Plus rod. This is uh, this is a high-end rod, one of one of the more expensive rods. It's it's more expensive than the Nam as well, and uh, and this is one of the flagship rods from uh, from Loomis. Um, this rod is again it's a fast rod um, designed for for you know longer casts and casting streamers and uh, and the like and and in particular for for the Danish coast as well. Um, this rod stands a bit out from the other rods because Loomis has chosen to design this with, with single-footed uh, guides. I don't know what they're called in English, but, but, but these, are not, these are not the regular guides. These are guides that only have one, uh, one foot. I don't know what that is, uh, how, how to say that in English. But, but that, is, that is a design a choice uh, Loomis has made. Um, it's not my favorite for the guides, but I must say when you, when you just have this rod in your hands, uh, the, the, the blank compensates for that because, um, again, this is a rod designed for, for longer casts and it does that excellently. Um, I like the Loomis uh, NRX rods. I have a few of the two-handed rods, which I think is, is some of the best. Uh, and, and I've been using those for some time. The one-handed rods here are in, in the same kind of, of, of category as the two-handed rods. They're very, very light. They're very, very fast. And they just perform outstandingly. So um, a nice, nice blank. I must say I'm a bit disappointed with the choice of the, the one-legged guides, but, uh, but, but the rod here really, really performs well despite those. So a nice, nice looking rod with, uh, with a lot of potential and a rod that, that just casts and, uh, and, and really can cast long easily.
The next one is the uh, Gilumis uh, Asquith. This is the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the flagship rod from, uh, from Gilumis. And, uh, and this rod is very, very different from the NR NRX Plus rod. Uh, I just cast the NRX Plus rod and this is really, really a lot different. It's not as, it's not as fast and it, it, it does not have as much, as much, let's say, brutal force, brutal power. But I don't think that this rod is intended to have as much power. The rod, this rod here and the purpose for this rod is, is to, to build a rod that is accurate, that is a good rod for, for medium to, yeah, for medium casts, shorter and, and medium casts, and to be accurate. And, uh, and the Asquith is, Asquith is just that. This really feels like a, a harmonic rod. It's 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 a lot deeper. It bends a lot deeper than the uh, than the uh, than the NRX Plus. But it just it just feels really really nice. You can make some really tight loops here, and uh, and I'm very sure that this will be uh, one of the most accurate and and deadly rods for for nymphing and uh, and uh, and and dry fly fishing as well. I'm not saying that you can't cast a big streamer on this, because of, of course you can. Uh, of course you can. It, it also depends a lot on the line that you choose for this. But um, but I must say, if 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 you're going for if you're just going for distance, then I think the uh, the NRX Plus is the better bet. If you're going for for accuracy and for feel, then this is truly truly uh, feels like a, a true a true gem. And it's it's also one of the rods that, if you look worldwide, has has has, has is really really well renowned, and is 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 highly sought after all over. So so it's it's difficult to get enough of these rods actually in the shop because because the demand for these are are really really big. So the Asquith, ah, but I mean, it can cast far as well if you if you if you if you want it to. But it's not. I don't think it's it's the intended design of this. This is supposed to be a sniper sniper weapon, not not a not, not a bazooka, <laughs> not a railgun. <laughs> So the next one, and now we're starting to talk sage, is the Sage Trout LL. This is the uh, this is the uh, the flagship trout rod from Sage, and uh, and I own this in a four and a half, no, in an eight and a half feet class four, which I use for 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 dry fly fishing. Again, this is something completely different from a lot of the other rods. This is. By definition, not a rod that's designed to really, really just blast away. This is designed for, for not, you know, not extremely close counters, but it can be used for that as well. But this is designed for accuracy, for presentation, for, for putting a small fly exactly in the, in the location where you need it to. And it does this to excellence, uh, the Trout LL. The, the, the Sage Trout LL is, in my opinion, some of the best some of the best uh, dry fly and nymph rods out there. Of course, if you're at the river uh, on any given day and, and the conditions are not for, for nymphing or for, for, uh, for, for, for dry fly fishing, then you can cast a streamer on this rod as well. But, but if you're looking for a rod to go fishing on the Danish coastline or, or for just in general blasting big streamers, then you should look for some of the other rods. If you, however, are looking for a dry fly uh, and a nymphing rod um, that can cast the occasional streamer, then I don't think there is much uh, many other rods that can compare to this one. I am really impressed with this one, and I'm just uh, basically in love with my eight and eight and a half feet class four. Um, and uh, if I were planning to go to New Zealand or, or fish on bigger waters with, with nymphs and dry flies, then this is the rod I would bring. The nine feet, five weight trout LL from Sage. Really is just what Sage does best, you know. Designing a rod with a specific purpose and then making that rod some of the best out there. And this one is that for sure. So the trout LL, I like. <laughs> And now for something completely different. 
to quote Monty Python. This is the Sage Igniter and this is in the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This is one of the fastest, most powerful five weights I have ever tried. Um, as you can see, this has been used quite a lot and that's because this is my rod. This is the rod I use for, uh, for my, my the blazer. This is the rod that I use for my Danish coastal sea trout fishing when I use a five weight because the igniter here is, in my opinion, the most powerful five weight I have ever tried. This is a cannon. This is, uh, <laughs> this is something that is designed to just power through anything and it does that to excellence. I'm really, really happy with, with the igniter. I use that a lot on, uh, on, the, on the Danish coast and for, for bigger streamers because it is so fast and it just casts so, so long, so effortlessly. I must say the igniter is, is a very specific tool though. It is, it is the fastest rod and probably the rod I've tried that, that it's possible to cast the longest with. But it's also one of the rods that, that, that gives, you know, that, that, that puts the biggest, that, 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 that has, you know, sets the highest demand to the fly caster. Because the potential in, in, in the igniter here, I got the, the, the tree there. The, the potential in the igniter here is really, really, really big. If you hit this rod, uh, if, if you time everything correctly, then this rod can just perform and perform and perform and throw your flies so, so insanely long. But if you, if you don't hit it exactly right, then there is a chance that your cast, uh, of course, might not go as far. So it's not very forgiving, but when you hit this right, it just it just froze, froze like nothing else. So, um, again, as I said, if, if the other were fine-tuned instruments with a specific purpose, then this is as well. It's just more of, more of a sledgehammer than, than anything else. If you know how to wield the sledgehammer, you will get some, some truly amazing results. So, the igniter is, is an awesome, awesome series of fly rods. Uh, and the, the nine feet five weight is no exception to that. They are just really, really good at what they do. And what they do is hammer, hammer, hammer away. <laughs>
But the difference from those is that if you combine those two and you take the best of those two rods, they're combined in this one. So this one can maybe not cast completely as long and maybe has slightly less accuracy than the, uh, than the, the, the Sage LL. But, but this has both uh, the best of the two worlds. This can really just send your fly line into the distance, but it's also accurate. So if you're looking for a new trout rod, uh, I think that the Scott Centric is a rod that's that's hard to avoid, uh, even, uh, at least to try and and to try out because it's just yeah I'm I'm in awe of this rod. I really really like these and uh, and 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 my 10 feet five weight I use for for uh, very specifically for for sea trouts and and salmon. Um, it's not going to be the last Centric rod I own. I can guarantee you that. The Scott Centric is just a very thought through, very well produced, very balanced, very cool rod overall. So now we've tried all these nine very different but very, very great fly rods. Of course, there are, there are a lot of different rods out there and a lot of different opinions. What is ex expressed in this video is just my opinion. So, so um, it's always a good idea to, to contact your local dealer and go out and try the rod that, that you like. Or even better, contact us if, if you have any questions regarding fly rods or anything else regarding fly fishing. We will be more than happy at Nordic Anglers to accommodate you and try to help you in the best way possible so uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you haven't done so already or if you know the web shop already then please swing by Nordic Anglers to see our big selection and perhaps buy a few things that would mean a lot to us thank you for watching and good luck out on the water